Hello everybody, Popcorn Culture Junkie here, making my first YouTube video ever. Anyway, I wanted to touch on the subject of guys who still live at home with their parents. Now, I understand if you're having issues looking for a job and, you know, who isn't these days? Or if your house burnt down, or if you're going through a divorce, you know, going through a real rough spot like that. That's totally cool. But... If you're some dude who's in his mid-twenties and has no ambition to find a job and whatever jobs are available, you turn them down because they're beneath you, well, then this video is about you. And this is dedicated to my recent ex, whose YouTube name and real name I will not reveal because he may be helpless, but doesn't mean he can't sue me. So, of course, this gentleman started out sweet. Well... Don't they all? <laughs> and well, over time, I realized how spoiled he really was. He told me that not only did, does he have a graphic design degree, but when I met him at school, he was working on a creative writing degree. Both paid for by his parents. I totally get that. If your parents can help you with school and if they want to, that's great. But that's, you know, the reality these days is most people have to rely on student loans and grants, and in my case, the GI Bill. I mean, not everyone's fortunate enough to have parents pay off all of their education. But, you know, what can you do? But this goes a little deeper. Not only did his parents pay for both of his degrees, they paid for his room and board and... They even gave him a food allowance, even though there's a meal plan in the room and board. I mean, I'm not a parent. I'm mainly basing that on what my own parents would have done. In that case, they would have told me to kick rocks and uh, fend for myself. And, well, let's just say as time went on, and I got to know him more, and I visited with him. I mean, he's, there's just evidence of him being spoiled rotten. I mean... His parents hooked him up with a desktop computer, a laptop computer, a fancy iPhone. They gave him a $500 camera for Christmas one year. I mean, am I jealous? Damn right I am. But at the same time, you know, I work my butt off and I buy my own stuff. And honestly, I appreciate it that much more because I actually worked for it. Now, our relationship ended up being long distance after a bit because he got done with school and I'm still in school. So he moved back in with his parents. And then, then he's looking for a job for a writing degree. You know, those are pretty tough to come by from what I've heard. And, well, if you know the story of Stephen King and his wall of rejection letters, then you'll totally get where I'm coming from. Anyway, though. He's complaining to me that he can't find a writing job, and I go, well, what about your graphing design degree? You have that, too. Can't you get a job in that until you find your dream job? Oh, no, no, no. I just want this job because I really want to be a writer now. It made me question. It's like, well, why did they waste their money on your graphic design degree that you wanted so bad? But you're not even willing to take a job in that until you find your dream job. And then months later, he's still living with his folks, and he and I are chatting on Facebook, and he's like, Hun, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. And I'm like, okay, what's up? He goes, well, my mom knows the guy who owns the subway down the road from where I live at. I'm like, all right, what's the problem? And then he says, well, he says the job is mine if I want it, but I really don't know. And I, and I said to him, well, <clears throat> so I gave him my spiel. I said, well, you know, you should take it. At least build up something in your savings until you can move out. I mean, you're not going to be there forever. And he was under the impression that he'd be stuck there forever. He had a bad summer job experience, which I'm not going to go into. But he did say, well, I just don't know. I'm afraid I'm going to be stuck there forever. And I feel like it's kind of beneath me because I have two college degrees. I was that close to uh, breaking my computer. I wanted to go down there and smack him. And another excuse was, well, you're coming down for spring break. How are we going to see each other? And I told him we could work around that if necessary, but 
I told him the decision was his and his alone. But of course, he got mad at me um, because I was being honest with him and I wasn't telling him what he wanted to hear. I told him what he needed to hear. And so time went on a little more. Still hasn't He still hasn't found a writing job. Still won't take anything else. So then he decides to uh, do volunteer work. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, you know. But of course, uh, but of course, our relationship deteriorated as his time of leaving for volunteer work got closer. Of course, the uh, breakup didn't actually happen until a month ago, like I said. He just decided that, you know, instead of being a mature person and telling me that he didn't want a relationship while he was doing his volunteer work, he thought he'd just ignore me and be an ass to me whenever I'd contact him. I mean, he claims to be so mature and a feminist and, you know, cares about women so much, but couldn't be bothered to be honest with one when it came to a relationship. But, you know, going back to the spoiledness of it and being coddled by his folks. He's got a checking and savings account through, through his mom, who works at a bank. Personally, if my mom worked at a bank, I would bank somewhere else. It's the same reason why I will never buy a house for my uncle. For my realtor uncle. Same concept. Big money issues and relatives just, they don't mix. But anyway, when I was visiting my honey, ex-honey, whatever, when I was visiting him during one of my breaks, he was going to go buy his uh, $60 RPG book at Barnes & Noble. And it turned out his card wasn't working. And I'm like, well, don't you ever keep track of what's in your account? Oh, no. And when we got home, because his mom runs the account, she had, he had her transfer money from, from his savings into his checking. And I looked at him and I said to him later on, I'm like, don't you have online banking? Couldn't you go online and do that yourself? Well, yeah, but I'm too lazy. I mean, I'm sorry, but you got to be pretty lazy and pretty coddled if your parents are transferring money into your checking account for you like that. I mean, I can understand where they set up an automatic transfer if they're helping you, sending money and all that, but when they're transferring money between your t between two accounts that have your name on them? Come on. I mean, really. And, uh, well, of course his dad yelled at him for trying to buy a $60 book when he has no job. I mean, at the time I felt bad for my boyfriend, but secretly I was like, dude, you're an idiot. You kind of deserve to get yelled at. And here's the kicker, though. When he went, when he left to go to the South for his, uh, for his volunteer training, I mean, the guy could have borrowed a GPS from one of his folks and mailed it back. But, no. I mean, the dude is 24 years old, and if you have one of your parents ride along with you on a road trip that you're supposed to be mature enough to go on, Come on. I mean, that's just too much. And while I was mad at him and decided to break up with him because of his communication issues, I mean, looking back on all that stuff I just mentioned, I mean, I honestly don't know how much longer I would have stayed with him anyway. And I'm very glad that I didn't even contemplate him moving in with me. I mean, yeah, I thought about, I, mean, I fantasized about having him live with me, but... Actually going through and thinking, hmm, I should have him move in with me? No. If he can't cook, hand wash dishes, if he has to rely on his mom and dad to transfer money into his between his two savings and checking accounts, then no. You know, if if you can if you can barely handle doing that while living with your parents, I mean, then he has no shot in hell of being on his own. He doesn't seem to realize that internet costs money, phones cost money. And, you know, electricity and water, that all costs money, and he doesn't seem to grasp that. Well, while he's doing his volunteer work, I mean, he's supposed to be with a group of other people, but... We'll see how that goes. I mean, even when he grew up, he's never had to share a room with his siblings, like I did. I mean, he just... Hopefully reality will slap him and kick him in the ass, but we'll see what happens. So to all you ladies out there, and guys too, who are dating, you know, who, who are dating spoiled brats, please cut them off.
just just get rid of them they're not worth it they're not worth all the headache they're just yeah it may suck being alone but it's better than having that kind of chain around your neck so you know rate comment just let me know what's up and i'll talk to you all later ciao